Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a faux bearskin rug out of a stuffed animal. These are really cute, they're pretty fun and whimsical, and now that I think about it, it kind of matches my faux deer head that I have hanging on the wall. Maybe I just really want some log cabin decor in my living room. Anyway, I've been wanting to do this project for a while, but I couldn't find a suitable stuffed animal. But probably after a few months of searching, I finally found one. So I'm so excited to be making this and showing you guys how you can make one of your own. So let's get started. You'll need a stuffed animal. The size you get will determine how big the finished rug is. I got a medium sized bear, so the finished rug isn't as big as a real bearskin rug would be, but I'm still satisfied with the size. I actually don't think I'd prefer one to be that big anyway. Faux fur that matches the stuffed animal, a needle and thread, scissors, tailor's chalk, and pins. Cut off the stuffed animal head about two inches from the base of the head. Pin it closed for now, just to keep the stuffing from falling out. Lay the faux fur out wrong side up and place the head on it in the middle towards the top. Mark out the shape of the rug like so. And cut it out. To make sure it's symmetrical, you can fold this in half and cut it, kind of like when you fold a piece of paper in half and cut a heart out. So when you unfold it, it's nice and symmetrical. Use this piece to mark and cut out another piece. You can cut out a tail as well. Lay out one side, right side up, and place the head on top with the head facing inwards like this. Lay the other piece of fabric on top, right side facing down, so the right sides are touching, and pin the pieces together. Make sure to remove the pins from the animal head when you repin it when it's sandwiched between the fabric pieces. Sew it up, leaving a part open. Make sure it's big enough so the head can pass through later. You might have to hand sew the part where the head is if it doesn't fit into the sewing machine. I mean, you can hand sew the whole thing, but to make it quickly, you should use a sewing machine. As you can see, mine wouldn't fit. I actually didn't give myself enough seam allowance, so I had to hand sew it. Anyway, once you have it all sewn up, flip it right side out. And sew up the hole. Then, about an inch or two away from the bottom edge, attach the tail. And then you're done! If you wanted to try to make it a little non-slip, then you can cut out pieces of faux leather or something, some kind of material like that, and sew it to make little paw prints, but I didn't bother doing that. I thought this turned out great, but honestly, I didn't know where I would put it. But once I laid it out, Hobbs almost immediately claimed it as a bed. So for me, I guess, we have a new dog bed for Hobbs. I 
hope you all enjoyed this week's project. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.